Hi guys, today I'm coming to you guys with a shoe review and the shoes that I will be reviewing are the Doc Martin Chelsea boots. Just to start off, I don't want you guys to get any confusion, but there's actually two styles of Chelsea boots that Doc Martens produces, I guess. The other style that it's not the shoe I'm going to be talking about today, it's I think it's called the Flora Chelsea boot. It's like not bulky, but the ones that I got are the bulkier version of the Chelsea boots. And um, I'll have all the information listed below so you guys know the difference between the two. I always like to dissect the shoe, so here goes. So the sole of the shoe, like I said, it has a traction, and here is the really thick, really like rubbery sole. Well, I would say this is a good like inch. The sole is a good inch, or the heel at least is a good inch. Um, here is the airwear tag. The signature look that Doc Martin has is this tag. And they have the signature, you know, Chelsea boot elastic thing on both sides. And this thing is like pretty durable and pretty, pretty good quality because it can stretch out far. And then um, just a standard black Chelsea boot. It has some lining going along the sides and um, yeah. And if you guys were curious, these shoes are made in Thailand and they are the Doc Martens 2976. Quickly talking about price, um, these shoes are about a hundred dollars on Amazon and they're available for they're eligible for Amazon Prime I think it's about the same price on the Doc Martin website but I'm pretty sure you'd have to pay for shipping and extra added tax like that but I, I think I paid like a flat 92 98 um, if I'm incorrect I'll put it in the description box so like I said why I chose the chunkier boots over the more sleek boots so um, I have I would say I have pretty muscular pretty stocky legs for a girl because I danced for quite some time so I feel like I still have the very um, muscular quads and calves so whenever I find that I wear booties or um, pretty much just boots I have to be very particular in that the boots are very chunky because it kind of, I don't know if you guys understand my image, but if you have a chunkier boot or a chunkier shoe, it will make the rest of your leg look a lot sleeker and a lot thinner. Another thing I like about these shoes is that it's like extremely elongating. And it's not just because it's like a Chelsea boot or because it's bulky, but it's because it's a black boot. So um, if you guys are looking for shoes that will make your legs look longer, thinner, um, any of that sort, I really recommend you getting a black boot pair of boots, pair of booties, knee highs, I don't know, I don't know about that, but um, yeah, that's just like a general thing that if you're trying to look for shoes that elongate your leg, definitely go for like the black boot option. In my little notebook thing, I have some pros and cons of the shoe, and let me just get started. The first pro I can really think of for the Doc Martin shoes is that they're extremely durable, and um, what I mean by durable is that I've worn these in pretty much any condition, and yes, even though I'm a SoCal girl and we don't get all four seasons, I've pretty much went to places that had all four seasons. So, for example, this past winter break I went to Arizona and it was actually like snow was falling. And so um, I was trekking through snow, th pretty thick snow in these shoes and I didn't get my socks wet at all. My feet felt completely fine and um, because there's traction on the shoe, which is such an added bonus, um, if you wanted to wear them in rain and snow, it's perfectly fine. That's what I have to say about that. Pretty much, I've worn it in every weather condition and it has been perfectly fine for me. My shoes, my socks don't get wet, my feet don't get cold. Um, it really reinforces your foot, so nothing will phase it, nothing will get through to it. So, I really like that. And I kind of explained it previously, but I really like how it's a thick leather. If you have been on my channel for quite some time, I only get shoes that are leather and I, the sole reason why I do that is because leather shoes just hold up more and are more durable and um, the longevity of it. So I really, really, really enjoy how Doc Martens have, um, they're known for having really thick leather. And I know some people might not like that because the breaking in process, which I'll get to later in the cons, is a pain in the butt. But um, once you get past that stage and once you start noticing all the pros and all the um, benefits of having thick leathered shoes, um, I think that's when you start to appreciate the, the quality. And um, So yeah, the thick leather I really enjoy because, like I said previously, because it's so thick and because it's so impenetrable, like nothing is going to get to my feet. The thing with Doc Martens is, like I said when I was showing the shoe, um, they have this thick sole that is really good for... Um, 
I guess just like walking day to day or walking for a longer extended period of time because um because the sole is so thick it kind of gives you this um bounce and when I said like you're kind of walking on the moon uh, that's like a little of exact exaggeration but um the bounce is really nice because when you're walking and maybe you have um arched foot problems or if you have flat feet problems I find that it helps the whole spectrum it just helps with your foot structure I don't know if I just made that up or I didn't but I definitely feel like I can walk for a longer period of time in these shoes this is probably the thing that sold me the most about this shoe when I first tried it on it's that it the shoe height hits at a really good spot and um, I don't know if you guys struggle with this issue as well but let's say you're wearing girlfriend jeans or boyfriend jeans but um, and you're trying to wear it with booties or you're trying to wear it with boots I find that a lot of the booties that I have um, I don't know if like they manufactured it purposely like that but it hits too high so by the time I finish scrunching up my the bottom of my je jeans like the the scrunching is already to half my calf so I find that it's just you know not even worth trying anymore to do the um, booties with boyfriend jeans look which I'm such a fan of such a fan um, so the thing with these shoes is that it hits at such a good spot that I pretty much only need to roll up my jeans like the standard amount which is like two rolls and then um, it has like a nice it, it hits at a nice spot the last thing the last pro I have about this shoe is that it's really easy to slip on and off and I'm assuming with any Chelsea boot it's like that because um, there's no laces or anything but for these shoes the tag at the back the air wear tag actually acts as a good um, like hook that you can hook your index finger into like slide in your shoe and um, I don't know if that's the correct way to be putting on the shoes because I feel like any day now I might just pull too hard and then the, t the air wear tag will just completely rip off which would be really bad because I think that kind of adds a nice touch to the shoe especially like it's like Doc Martin branded. Anyways, all I'm trying to say is that the shoe is so easy to put on, so easy to slip off. I used to be that girl that like every time I went into somebody's house you know it's like a group gathering and then everyone's just slipping off their shoes like going to the living room I would be that girl that's like at the door still unlacing her shoes still doing all of that still unzipping blah 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 because you know I, I like my shoes <laughs> and sometimes you gotta sacrifice but um for these shoes you don't gotta do that at all you just slip them right off slip them right on and it's a fun time <laughs> so those are pretty much all my pros about the shoes and now just coming into a little of the cons, like I said, I don't really have many cons for the shoe because it's it's shown me some good signs so far, but the most obvious ones I can say is that because the shoes are such thick leather, just be wary that it's going to be a really tough time to put um, to break in the shoe because the leather is so tough. So um, not to scare any of you guys that are like wanting to get the shoe, but the shoe did give me some... Um, I guess chafing on the right where the the height of the shoe hits your ankle so I would get like chafing marks in the front of my um, calf and in the back of my calf but um, I think that's easily mendable if I just wore longer socks besides that I don't think I really got any um, blistering which is a nice thing um, I think of course blistering could be avoided as well if you wore thicker socks so um, pretty much the only thing that I got with these shoes is that they um, chafed the front and back of my calves. Sizing is extremely off. I think it's kind of inevitable because they're European brands, so you kind of have to adjust for the sizing for American sizing. In the UK, it's size 5. In, the Euro in Europe, it's size 38. And in US, it's size 7 for ladies. And I would say I'm in between a size 7 or 8. Um, usually for leather shoes, I would size down a little bit. So um, I would size down either... Uh, one to one and a half sizes but for this I only sized one size down which I guess I should have um, listened to myself because like I said I usually size one and a half sizes down for leather shoes and um, these shoes have a lot of room still left um, I could say I would say it's probably like um, maybe a quarter of an inch still left in the front of my front of my shoe so the toe area has a lot of room but if you're somebody that likes to wear thick socks, I feel like only sizing one size down is completely fine because um, the, the thick socks will compensate for the extra room. But if you're try planning to just wear it with standard socks, standard um, shoe socks, I don't know why I said shoe socks, but if you're planning to wear it basically with standard socks, I would say size one and a half sizes down. But like I said, I only size one size down. And I do admit it was kind of weird 
seeing my shoe my foot in such a big shoe but um after a while you get used to it and then it's no big deal so um but if you're like really insecure about like big feet or something i would definitely say size one and a half sizes down because uh, it does give you a lot of leeway and like i said with the tough to break in it does take about two weeks to break in which is kind of kind of long but i feel like if you're working with thick leather you should be cautious that those shoes will um, take that long to break in and I think that goes along with any thick leather shoe it's not just these in particular so there's that and then um, the last thing I don't know if it's even a pro or con I, I, mean, I guess it's in between but it's a pretty heavy shoe so um, I don't really notice the difference when I'm walking like I don't like walk around and like lug my feet because it's so heavy that kind of thing like that's dramatic, but um, I guess if it if you're traveling and you wanted a light shoe to carry, this wouldn't be the shoe because with the th such a thick sole, it, it 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 adds a lot of weight and it's pretty heavy. And the leather in in it of itself is already really thick. That is the end of my video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I love doing shoe reviews. Let me know in the comments, likes whatever um, if you guys like these shoe reviews as well because um, I know that when I purchase shoes, I like to watch review videos or read reviews to know that I'm getting a good guaranteed purchase. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have an awesome day. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!